Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here again at Halo RV. Today I want to talk about the different ways to put fiberglass skin on the outside of an RV. There's a, a couple different ways to accomplish this. I'm going to try to start from the bottom and work my way up. Generally speaking, most of it's pretty much the same. The first one I'm going to show you is the only one that's a little different. So, um, there are some trailers, uh, like a Cherokee, a J-Flight, they have a wooden skeleton, they have that corrugated wavy aluminum skin on the outside, but they have a fiberglass option. One of the common questions is, does that change the studs to aluminum in the walls? And no, it doesn't. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've done different videos on aluminum versus uh, wood wall construction. What it does is it just puts a, a pretty skin on the outside. But below that, if you look real close here, there's actually a, a double sheet of Luan underneath that. Um, what that's creating is kind of like a, uh, oh, I don't know, like a nine millimeter uh, wooden suit of armor on this. What they'll do is they'll take four by eight sheets of Luan and they offset them like a brick layer so that you don't really see those, those vertical lines uh, where the, the, the wood meets each other going down the wall. Interestingly, if you take a wood skeleton trailer and apply a fiberglass option to it, you're actually increasing weight because you're adding so much more wood all the way around that sucker and the bigger the camper the more of an impact it's going to have i've seen it be anywhere from 250 to 650 pounds depending on the size of the model um now there are some brands that have a uh, a base wood skeleton option with a laminated wall option when it specifies laminated that's when you're going to the aluminum skeletons and that's what will bring you to the rest of these over here they're uh basically the way that these are all built is is pretty much the same if you can kind of take a peek at this, you've got a base fiberglass skin on top. You'll have uh, a Luan sheet below packed with high density bead foam and another Luan interior wall. Now, some brands might sub one or two of those sheets of Luan for Asdell, like the Coachman Freedom Express and Apexes and the Rockwood Geo Pros that we have here at Halet RV. Um, the idea there being weight savings and, and longevity. The uh, uh, Basically, what you have here is you have an inch and a half tubular steel uh, by inch and a half by one inch actually tubular steel stud that just kind of slides through there you take an inch and a half stud you add the luon on each side and the fiberglass you end up with what we generally refer to as a two inch wall sometimes a little more sometimes a little less now if you're in a lightweight travel trailer on the outside they tend to do the the, the layer right below the fiberglass they'll do one sheet of luon if you're in a trailer that is not as weight sensitive and is appealing more to a buyer looking for for the feel of solidarity, for um, improved cosmetics, because we don't want to see those vertical lines. That's when they'll do a, a double up on that Luan right there. And what that's going to do for you is again, just like we saw over here, when they offset like a brick layer, it helps mask those lines. You never fully get rid of them, but it really helps mask those lines where the, the substrate, which is what that Luan is doing in this case, um, is uh, uh, sitting there. Now, if you want to go from a standard two inch wall, to an inch and a half ultralight wall, a lot of people say, yeah, but is there enough structure to it? And that's where I think this is probably my favorite sample of all. If you look here, so you've got an inch and a half by one inch tube structure here. You have the same thing here, guys. All they do is they, they take the stud and turn it so that it's, it's now uh, the same amount of structure. You're just turning it a little bit to keep the total thickness of the wall down a little bit. What that does is it helps you save a little bit of weight on all the bead foam packed in here. And that's not a gigantic amount in comparison to this, um, but everything adds up. So like a good comparison here is this is an inch and a half ultralight wall like you might find in a Keystone Passport. This is a two inch, not specifically lightweight wall that you find in a Keystone uh, Cougar half ton travel trailer. The Cougars are weigh a little bit more, but they're still pretty darn light. It's those little things that add up. It's a hundred little differences that'll take the weight down. Um, so that's what's kind of cool about an inch and a half ultralight wall. You really aren't losing any structural integrity as a result. Now there are a few trailers out there, I don't carry any of them and I, I don't want to, that uh, they have a one inch laminated wall and that scares the crap out of me. That I, I just don't feel that there's enough meat on those bones. If you're just not going to, you know, frankly, I still, I can't really talk myself into any case in which I'm okay with it. It just, it concerns me too much. It's not a product that I can personally have confidence in selling. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it is. And not representing a product like that. Maybe I don't have enough exposure and education to know better. I always encourage you folks, go forth, seek your own knowledge. This is my take on this stuff. It doesn't mean that this is gospel. 
I, I'm not writing a Bible here. I'm just some friggin' dork with a camera taped to the wall across the room. It's probably fine. I just know that I'm not confident in it. And I think that because only one or two manufacturers build that way and it's not widespread through the industry, I don't, I, I feel it's an untested, unproven um, method that isn't great for long-term longevity and, and whatnot. If it was, if it was holding up fine, everybody would be doing it. They would all be doing it. R&D in this business doesn't mean research and development. It means rip off and duplicate. Um, so I think it's a gimmick that one brand came up with to try to save every ounce of weight that they possibly could. So the inch and a half ultralight wall and the two inch standard wall with or without the double layer of Luan, this comprises almost, almost all laminated product with very few exceptions which naturally, I carry one of those exceptions here at Halet RV, and that's found in the open range 3X with their big three inch total wall thickness. If I get up here close to you, you can kind of see, they've got now like a, 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 a inch and a half by inch and a half stud. It's extra, extra thick. And then you get this like extra inch of insulation here on top of that. So we get this bigger, thicker uh, laminated wall as a result. Um, this is something that, there, it's not that the Open Range 3X is really the only brand that does this, is that they're, they're one of the very few known brands that does this. There's very few select specialty niche products that also build like this. Um, one that did it for a couple years was the Jayco Designer. And I mean, uh, the Jayco Designer is currently on hiatus. They're really working on the Pinnacle line, then they're gonna refocus in on the designers later, is the current plan. Who knows what'll happen in the future? Uh, I don't work at Jayco, so I don't know. I just know that's what I've been told. Anyway, um, the, the designer was just, they took a pinnacle and they put open range 3X walls on it and then upgraded the amenities and ta-da, there's the designer. Um, you know, they were beautiful, the ones that were out there. I think Jayco just really wanted to focus in on other things, but that's kind of the gamut on how you get it. If, if all you care about is the cosmetics, you're not so concerned with the structure, well, you can just apply a fiberglass skin to something like a Cherokee or a Gray Wolf or a Wolf Pup or a J-Flight. If what you're looking for is that pretty clean skin, but you're, you're really lightweight, you want to look for products that have that inch and a half laminated ultralight wall. If you're trying to be somewhat weight conscious, but uh, you, you're trying to get a little bit extra R value, that's where a two inch wall with a single Luan substrate is uh, beneficial. And if you're not really caring about the weight and you want that longevity structure and insulation, you get the two inch wall with the double sheet glue on. And then if you just want to go nuts, man, that's what the big daddy here is for. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.